For the first time in over four decades, an Indian is heading back to space. And this time, it's part of a bold collaboration between NASA and ISRO and a rising force in commercial space travel. In a moment that's both historic and forward-looking, Group Captain Subhanshu Shukla of the Indian Air Force is set to become the second Indian ever to travel to space, following the footsteps of the legendary Wing Commander Rakesh Sharma, who orbited the Earth back in 1984. But what makes this moment truly special? Could this moment redefine India's global standing in space exploration? And how does this journey prepare India for its own biggest space adventure yet? The Human Space Flight or Gaganyaan Missions. Group Captain Shukla, hailing from Lucknow in Uttar Pradesh, is a highly experienced Indian Air Force pilot with over 2,000 hours of flying time under his belt. He has been chosen as the mission pilot for the Axiom Mission 4, a private space mission organized by Axiom Space in collaboration with NASA. The launch is expected as early as May this year from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. At just 39 years old, Shukla will spend up to 14 days aboard the International Space Station conducting scientific research, outreach activities and commercial engagements, which are all part of a broader vision to standardize human spaceflight. Now, Shukla's journey is more than just symbolic. It's a strategic mission. Zero. India is preparing for its own human spaceflight or Gaganyaan missions, its first indigenous human spaceflight program ever, aimed at sending a three-member crew to low Earth orbit for up to three days. Shukla has already been selected as a key astronaut designate for the Gaganyaan missions. And this upcoming AX4 mission will give him vital real-world space experience before taking on India's biggest space challenge. In other words, Axiom 4 is not just a space trip, it's a training ground for India's space-fearing future. Joining Shukla on this mission to the space station are former NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson, who will command this crew, as well as astronauts from Poland and Hungary, both of whom will be the first from their nations to reach the space station. India's seat on the Axiom Mission 4 wasn't random. It was secured through a strategic collaboration and agreement between ISRO and NASA, facilitated by Axiom Space. While the finer details of the collaboration are confidential, this partnership comes in the shadow of reciprocal tariffs introduced by President Donald Trump. However, reports suggest India-US space ties may be free from any impact, pointing to strengthened collaboration between India and the United States as far as space exploration is concerned. Axiom Space, a Houston-based company, is working towards building the world's first commercial space station, and its missions represent a giant leap in commercial human space flight. India's participation in such missions signals its growing influence in the global space economy. Just like any mission of this magnitude, contingency plans are in place. Group Captain Prasant Balakrishnan Nair has been named as a backup astronaut for this AX-4. Should anything prevent Shukla from flying, Nair will step in, ensuring India's representation in orbit is secure. Now, it's worth noting that Axiom Mission 4 follows a series of successful private space flights. AX-1 was launched in April 2022 for 17 days in orbit. AX-2 in May 2023 was 8 days in orbit. AX-3, launched in January 2024, spent 18 days in orbit. The upcoming AX-4 mission will be the fourth such mission, further establishing private-public partnership as the future of space exploration. And all of this comes just days after Sunita Williams, the Indian origin NASA astronaut, returned to work after spending a total of 286 days in space. Now, this mission is more than a badge of honor. It's a strategic investment in knowledge, experience, and global partnerships. With Gaganyaan mission on the horizon, India is no longer a 
passive player in global space affairs. In fact, it's building its own astronauts, it's signing key international collaborations, and it's preparing to stand shoulder to shoulder with space superpowers. So what do you think? Can India too become a 21st century space superpower? And is this the stepping stone for India to one day build its own space station? Leave a comment with your opinion, hit the like button and subscribe to InConnect News.